Y'all know I grew up in New York City in the 60s and 70s and 80s during a time with women's lib, during a time of Emily Post, during a time of free to be you and me, during a time of Dr. Spock. We had books and tools that were not in agreement. In, the 19, in 1990, 1989, I was pregnant with my first child. And I was given or advised to get one of the best books that many of you who have had children, or some of you who may be looking to get to have children, will find useful. And this is not it, <laughs> but it is among the series. The what to expect when you're expecting series. This one is what to eat when you're expecting, because apparently I gave away my what to expect book. <laughs> I loved this book. This book created answers that made me very comfortable. I could go through the what to expect when you're expecting book and find out why I had cravings and that whatever I was craving was OK. The books our parents grew up with all said, you have to feel this way at a certain time. After my child was born, I had the What to Expect the First Year book, which was perfect because every time my son Dylan cried and I was trying to decide whether I needed to nurse or let him be, I could look at the book and it basically told me, you do what's right at the time. It's OK. Whereas Dr. Spock would have said, you must let them cry it out. Let them learn independence at two days old. <laughs> As my child grew up, there was another book. There was What to Expect the Toddler Years, which was also fine. And there were several. There are lots of books and advice books for how to raise your child. And one of them, not the What to Expect book, said, let your toddler wander. They will wander out of sight. They're always looking for you. This is not true for any parent who has lost their child in a department store. Have you ever turned, has, how many of us have had toddlers in our homes? Have you not ever turned around in the department store and the child that was right behind you is disappearing? And if you look long enough, you find they are in the coat rack. <laughs> But that's where the books stopped. All of the books, the what to expect books, all of the books. There are very specific books for very specific issues. But there were no books for what to expect when my child came home from school crying because a teacher had called him a baby. There was no book that told me how to respond when my daycare said my child was a problem because they didn't know how to use scissors at three years old, that their hands wouldn't, they couldn't hold them. They implied I was the problem because apparently I had not taught them to do that. There was no book that said when your daughter comes home and says, I did something wrong and I don't know how to fix it, what to tell them. The book I needed was what to expect the elementary years, what to expect when my child is, uh, says they are probably bisexual at 10 years of age. There was no book went to help me figure out how to navigate the uh, IDA, IDEA laws regarding special needs children. And these are the books 
I needed. And still, they, there were tons of advice. And they were all like Dr. Spock, you need to do this, and you need to do that, and you need to do this. What I needed was a book that helped me with those questions. But more than that, I needed a book, and I need a book, of what to tell, teach my adult children. I have a 27-year-old daughter and a 33-year-old son, and you know what I forgot to tell my, teach my daughter? When she called me from the side of the road and said, how do I get these hazard lights to go off? <laughs> and I was like, oh, you accidentally hit the red, the red button in the middle of the dashboard. Just hit that again. Oh, is that what that's for? <laughs> I forgot to teach my daughter how that on the back of the insurance card is a phone number for road hazard assistance. These are the things we need in the What to Expect book. Now, my 27-year-old daughter also went off to college when she was 18, like 18, 19, like most of our children. And she said, she called home and she said, how do I cook nachos? And I'm like, you've done that before. But this is the stuff that we need to have in a what to expect book. These are the questions our kids are going to come home with. My child, my children at the young age. They were great. I didn't, the, the, the what to expect books got me to hear. But you don't know what you don't know for this age. It's right side up. Also doesn't tell you how to do that. So I'm writing the what you need to tell your kids now. Thank you very much.